especially merciful. May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah the Almighty be upon all of you. I am Umar ibn Abid and this is Hot Potatoes Tutorial 2. In first tutorial I told you how to download this software and I also provided you the link to download Java installer. So in this tutorial uh, we are going to start jQuiz and how can we insert pictures in our exercises and how to make a multiple choice multiple select hybrid and short answer exercises so let's open this software so let's open jquiz uh, as the name suggests it is used to create quizzes so uh, just simply uh, go here on title so for example I am uh, created uh, I am writing the title physics and I write the question who gave the law of gravity and simply uh, you can add answers here for example I add Newton then Einstein Jabber Bin Hayan and al -Baruni. I can also add more options as well if I click on this upper arrow for example Ibn Sina so you can add as many options as you want for example G H I J it is your choice uh, now uh, you can also give the feedback for example if someone choose uh, the answer Newton so of course this would be the right answer so I am going to write uh, you you nailed it so one will give this feedback if he or she choose this option in Einstein I may write never in Jabbar bin Hayan I may write not at all he was a chemist in al -Baruni, I may write no and in Ibn Sina I may write he was a biologist uh, now uh, here in settings uh, you have to ch choose uh, the correct answer and on uh, correct answer you have to mark tick uh, you may uh, give this tick mark to, to more than one options uh, if you want uh, to or if you are creating such a question which have more than two or two correct answer uh, usually we do this in multiple select uh, questions but in multiple choice we only give one correct answer so sorry this is not the correct answer this is I think Jabbar bin Hayan so let's move above and give Newton so mark this so once you have created an exercise you may add uh, more than more than one question by just clicking the above arrow so and this is a uh, waiting you can increase or decrease this as well uh, now after you have uh, created an exercise so here are few options if you click on this then this exercise will save in any of your destination you want to say for example if I give one to this 
one name to this file now it has been saved uh, similarly uh, if you directly click on this option blue so once again you have to save the file so I'm going to save it with number two and then save once you saved so it will give you option what would you like to do view the file uh, view the exercise in my browser or upload the file to the hot potatoes dot net website for second option you must have a hot potatoes account and maybe you have to purchase uh, this software to do this so I am just going to click first option so here you could see this exercise and once again I am telling you that this exercise you can also use offline so if I click on uh, the wrong option Jabbar bin Hayan so here you can see the cross mark and this is the feedback I had given in there so you can change this feedback or it is your choice you may or you may not give feedback and now if I click on Ibn Sina once again it will be wrong sorry try again because uh, I haven't uh, given any feedback to Ibn Sina so therefore it will give just sorry try again by default now if I choose the right answer Newton so it will give you the feedback you nailed it which I have written there and your score is 50% why 50% because I have made and I have selected two wrong answers so in this way it will give you marks by percentage not just one and zero but according to percentage and here it will be written question answered correctly first time zero by one and you have completed the exercise because there was only one question so I have completed the exercise uh, now I'm going to tell you how to add pictures in your exercise so I am changing the title by just quiz uh, I am also changing the question by what is cat among these and with this I am also going to tell you how to use multiple select questions and how to create multiple uh, select exercise I'm just removing uh, these or the simple thing uh, to do this is to go here uh, press this and create a new uh, exercise if you want to save previous you can save otherwise don't I don't want to save so here now can now I can make a new exercise just quiz who is cat in the following uh, now I'm going to add pictures uh, your pictures will not be shown in these answers uh, but these pictures will be shown when you create the exercise and open it in your web browser uh, wherever you want to add picture either in answer either in feedback or either in title or either in question so you have to move your cursor there so because I want to add a picture in answer so in first option so I have moved my cursor here so now you have to go uh, these two options are for adding pictures the first option is an online option where you have to copy and paste a web URL here link URL you can select the width mostly I think it is preferable 100 by 100 because uh, if it is 720 or like this so this picture will be very will become very big and it cannot be shown clearly uh, you can name uh, all text I am just writing age and here also age so here you have to paste uh, the URL so I am going to browser and I have opened uh, this website and uh, you can see this picture 
if you ju just click uh, right click on this so here we, an option will appear copy link address you can do this or simply you can go here and control press control a and then control c and this link will be copied uh, come back here and just paste your link here so once you paste this link here you can also make picture alignment in the center in the left or in the right when you will open this so i am not changing this okay and you can see this link has been added here now the uh, second option to add pictures if you have already downloaded a few pictures so go here so it will ask you insert a picture from your hard drive click on this uh, when you click on this it will also ask you please save your data file before inserting a picture so that the program can work out the relative path to the graphic file you choose so for this uh, to do this go here and save your file I am going to save it with uh, name quiz uh, once I have saved so now I can easily add pictures so before this uh, I am moving my cursor here in second block uh, now I am going to add a few oh actually I have just deleted these photos so no problem I am just going here and here and just simply download these pictures for example save image as and on desktop this image will be saved and clip art so simply you can I have saved one of these so I think it is enough so go here and go on desktop where you have uh, saved your picture in just a minute All right. and the picture should all uh, should be in PNG format like this so now I can add this picture so when I select this picture it will also give me option to select width I think it is once again 100 is sufficient and you can also uh, link URL or title or any of one of these so okay now you can see one more picture has been added here so this picture was a direct URL from web and this picture was selected offline uh, now uh, who what is sorry I should select what is book because uh, both of these are book book in the following so now from here I am selecting multi multi select so the first one is also correct and the second one is also correct now just go here save your file with quiz one or any of number and open this file in browser so once you do this uh, you have to click on this so here you can see uh, these two pictures so this was one from uh, web URL and this is an offline picture so click uh, if I click on one option because it is multi select and check so it will give one by two because both of these are books and I gave both of these the right answer 
so your score is 50 percent because once i select only one option i didn't select both of these options at first time so my percentage is 50 percent so uh, similarly uh, i think i don't have to tell you how to create short answer you have just to select short answer and go here what is uh, if you write uh, what is physics and here i am going uh, tell writing a few option study of matter study of language i'm just going giving option study of mind and the first option is correct and this is the short answer so go here quiz 2 I am giving this name view exercise in your browser so now uh, you can see you have to write uh, the answer here if I uh, just uh, I, I want a hint so it will give S because uh, the first letter was study of matter in was S so therefore and uh, if I write here study of matter so your score is 93 percent because you know uh, it will not give you 100 percent in short answers so this is how you create short answer and the last one is how to create hybrid in hybrid actually hybrid uh, uh, is such an option in which you create a short question but uh, once you did it uh, wrong for two times it will automatically convert into a multiple choice question so for example i have done this like accept as correct and include in m over c options mean include in multiple choice question this is also include in multiple choice concern and the third one is also now go here uh, just save your file with any of the name and view the ex exercise in my browser now if i write for example wrong answer just study of language and press check your ans answer is partly wrong because you know i didn't write study of matter instead study of language if i just write hg just for checking so we try again and you uh, you could see as i did the wrong for second time it has converted this question to multiple choice question so if i click on this option so this will be correct 31 percent because two time i have been made the wrong answer and this is the sign for correct answer you may change in settings this option and if i wrong this uh, any of the option so it will give you cross so this is all about uh, hot potatoes j quiz and how to create this exercise i hope you would have understood it and i apologize for the video being very long remember in your prayers don't forget to give your feedback jazakallah khairan and Thank you.